The following is a presentation of TFNN. Trade what you see with Larry Pesavento. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. Now, Larry Pesavento. Okay, looking good, Billy Ray. Feeling good, Lewis. Uh, we're going to start out uh, with a chart of Tesla, uh, and then we'll move on to one other thing afterwards. But let's take a look at Tesla here, folks. Um, the, all I want to do is to show you these. These You can see the four red boxes that are marked there. Uh, there's one there on the far left. You can see it at the 1.618 there at 925. You can see the high yesterday, 1.414 expansion. But I want you to look at uh, several things here. First of all, the head and shoulders pattern on the far left in January. That's a perfect head and shoulders, folks. Left shoulder, right shoulder, perfectly equal in time and price. The right shoulder lower than the left shoulder. That's exactly how it's laid out in Andrew Lowe's book. And you can see the market breaks down. Makes a beautiful Gartley pattern, rallies all the way up to 780, a perfect ABCD at the 618, comes down and makes a bottom at 540, double bottom. We can see the double bottom. Then you see the ABCD to the upside at the 61% retracement, and then you see a series of ABCD patterns all the way up. Each one of them is marked. We've been watching this the whole way. We've been following the stock. You can see the right box there at 823. Once it went above 823, folks, it exceeded the ABCD pattern. It also exceeded the 78% retracement level. Okay? Now, look at the next box above that. That was the old high. You see that? Everybody thought that was a double top a couple days ago. They got hammered coming in yesterday because, uh, or well, they thought it was Friday. But on Monday, you can see that the market gapped up quite a bit above that double top. So, you know, you got to be very, very careful. You can also see it gapped above the 1.618 expansion of the whole move from April to May. Now, where this top comes in, I'm not sure, but we're way above the 127. The 1.618 retracement uh, expansion comes in at 11.22. Now, that should cause some type of a correction. You know, maybe 10 points or something. Who knows? But that's what we're watching when we're looking at technical analysis. I bring to your attention because we've got a bunch of things that are happening right now in a couple things that I, I think are important. Let's take a look now. I want to show you Facebook because we've been following this one. And we'll get this up here a little bit. And uh, hold on one second here. Make sure I get the uh, thing where it's... Good morning, White Shot. Good morning. Okay, there's the, uh, you can see the uh, three drive pattern that we had in Facebook up at 385. We came down to the low was 318. We were certainly looking at that at the 78% level. We rallied up the other day here to 343, which was a 382 retracement. Came down, a lot of news there, a lot of gaps and everything. But as long as it stays below that 382 at 343, this is a bearish pattern. Now, there's one other one that I've seen uh, in the news today. I just happened to look at it. And if you like ABCD patterns, let's just walk through this because, you know, this is, happens to be Cisco. And uh, this is a, a market that is acting a little bit weaker than the rest of the market. This is a daily chart. You can see all of the ABCD patterns that are there. I didn't draw all the little ones in, but the big ones I tried to put in to show you where we are because it's important to look at what's happening now since the market topped back there on September uh, the 30th. Now, what we're going to do now is we're just going to go down here for just a second here and look at the uh, – let me get it up here, and I will show you if I can. Where is it? Here it is. There we go. Now, all I've done now is I've blown this up. And I'm just doing this for your uh, – you know, I, I'm just a pattern. It's all A, B, C, D. Okay, now there, there's here's what we have, folks. This is a daily making a 382. Now we're we're trading at 56 again today. The news was very bullish today, evidently on Cisco. Now if Cisco gets above 57, this 382 is not going to be valid. So uh, keep an eye on that because if Cisco does not get above that uh, 5670, 
Uh, at the last price I saw it was 55.98 or something like that. But if it doesn't get above that, that's a bearish ABCD pattern. And this is a, a much weaker than the market because you can see the rest of the market has had a, a heck of a run to the upside. Now, I bring all this to your attention for this reason right here. Oh, by the way, let me get a quick uh, – quick, uh, Tim Bost is our guest today. Always a good someone to have on. And then, of course, tomorrow, uh, on Thursday, we're going to have uh, Tim Bost. Tim Bost is today. <laughs> on Thursday is J.C. Parrott's of uh, All-Star Charts. And I just wanted to post you. We'll be talking a little bit about uh, the Bitcoins and some of the stuff with uh, with J.C. And that'll be, uh, that'll be uh, on Thursday. So let's uh, remind ourselves that. Now, this has been a frustrating week, folks, because I was very – uh, well, bearish on the gold, thinking it was going to break, but unfortunately, stops were a little too close, and I ended up taking a, a $400 loss in it, and it's now down $3,000 from where I wanted – well, 2800 from where I wanted to sell it, but that's, uh, that's the name of the game. All right, let's move up here and take a look here at the gold market, all right? Again, what I want you to see now is uh, you have made a lower low – than you made uh, just a few days ago. A few days ago, low was uh, 1783.20. Today's low was 1783, and that's coming in right at a 61% retracement. That makes that an ABCD pattern. As long as we don't go below 1783, that is a potential uh, buying opportunity in the gold. Now, all I do now is I look at some timing factors that I've worked on for quite a while. And I'm watching now, and I don't know if this is going to work or not. So just remind ourselves that this doesn't always work. Uh, but when it does, it usually works pretty good. But here's what we're watching here is we think we're getting ready to see a rally in the gold market. Now, you'll be able to see that red line there. Uh, the predictive line is the AI, artificial intelligence line. You can see the ABCD pattern that's in there. So uh, somewhere around this 1785 area, it looks like it would be a good buy. I haven't checked it yet, so I'm going to be uh, doing that in, in just a minute. But uh, all of this, folks, I'm going to spend a few minutes when we come back uh, talking to you a little bit more about the ABCD patterns, because I, I know people have still having trouble with it, because I still get emails questioning, you know, uh, why does something so simple work? I, I don't have the answer to that. Uh, all I know is that it doesn't work all the time, but it works most of the time, and that's the key. Now, a small commercial for the Pesavento family. Let me get this up here. I think you'll get a kick out of this, folks. This is from directly from South 7th Street in Terre Haute, Indiana. It's the Pesavento restaurant. This is uh, my, uh, my uh, cousin. He happens to be the uh, son of my uh, aunt, my my adopt, my father's oldest sister. There were uh, four four girls, four boys. We lost a little one at, at the age of one. There should have been five boys and four girls. But he, she is the old, just a little two years older than my father, and, and that was my aunt Val. And it's her uh, her grands <laughs> her grandson is the one that is uh, has the restaurant, and it is very very popular. And he's very, very creative. He's even making money on Christmas. You gotta love it. And so speaking of Christmas, take a look at this next one, folks. It's my, it's me and my good friend Lewis Winthorpe the Third coming right up. I think you'll like this. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. 
What's separating you from the most successful men and women on Wall Street? That's right, information. Having all the information gives us the perspective we need to place the right trades at the right time. The TAS Profile Scanner is the premier market profile-based scanner. Powered by its acclaimed TAS proprietary algorithms, this feature-rich scanner instantly filters over 2,500-plus global financial markets, such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. This powerful suite of tools leverages instant trade filtering and strategy formulation to show you emerging trades before they happen. For a limited time, you can save $100 off your first month by using the promo code UPGRADE. And you still get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Level the playing field with the TAS Profile Scanner, which you can find under the Services tab at TFNN.com. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern for free. Each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Okay, folks, um, I posted a chart of the uh, E-mini S&P, uh, the daily. Uh, all, I, all I wanted you to do is just, I didn't draw these things in because uh, you should be able to do that yourself. But I wanted you to see the wave structure and see how things go up and down. The reason why I did this, folks, I got an email early this morning about 1 o'clock from one of my uh, uh, students and very dear friend over in Hong Kong, uh, Brian Taylor. He's a uh, UK expatriate that has lived there for the last, oh, I think, 35 years. I've known Brian for a very long time, since 1983, I think, uh, uh, when I was at, uh, right. well, actually, it was right after I left Drexel is when I first met him. But uh, he sent me an email and asked me a question that I'm going to have to answer here. And he's, he's had bought all my books and everything all over the years. And, you know, he's been a student and everything. He's a professional money manager now. And he asked me why it took so long to put the Floor Traders Handbook into print. And the answer to that, folks, is uh, I have to blame that on John Jameson because what I was seeing was not what he was seeing. What he was seeing was the fact that it was re actually proving without doubt the same work that was done by Benoit Mandelbrot in Fractal Analysis. I mean, folks, if you if you really want to understand how this stuff works, that Floor Traders Handbook is 90 pages plus a 90-minute uh, a video professionally done describing how it works. We did it with the euro because it's the most actively traded thing in the world, and it proves without a shadow of a doubt that these things work mathematically and it puts the odds in your favor. And that's all it does. It puts the odds in your favor. And when they don't work, stand out of the way because it doesn't work. But the whole key is risk control. Now, I wanted to share with you a couple things because we're at a real critical time here. And the reason why I know it's a real critical time, oh, no, 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 don't tell me this. This is not right. Hold on just a second, boys and girls. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 I've lost the den. Shut the front door. No. What's wrong here? Oh, boy, oh, boy. I'm having a problem, folks. I think I've hit a wrong button. Boy, I have. on it. Shut the front door. I don't know what the darn thing is now. I... Uh, hold on just a second. Maybe this will work. 
Ah, oh, boy. Don't ever give an Italian an even break. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Can anybody hear me there in the den? I hope I'm back in there again. Um, ten, four. Yeah, okay, great. I'm sorry, folks. Uh, did you? Are you able to see the chart of the Dow Jones Industrial Average? I'm going to bring this up here, because here we are. I, would someone? Could someone tell me where the Dow Jones uh, is trading now? I want the Dow Jones Index. Can tell me where the Dow Jones Index is uh, trading right now, uh, Mr. Bill? One of you guys, smart guys out there, give me the Dow Jones Index, not the futures. And I'd like to know what the high was. Was the? Just tell me how close the high was. To uh, thirty-five thousand nine hundred and thirty-eight. Tell me how high the Dow Jones got today, okay? If you'd be so kind. Want to get this up here and take a look at it. And the reason why, folks, is these things are so darned accurate when they do work. Th oh no, you got to be kidding! Thirty-four eight ninety-two. Wow. One point. Shut the front door. All right, let's move on here and take a look at a couple other things that we want to take attention to. Getting back to where we were at that S&P, the reason why I'm showing you this is because the, one of the keys to this thing is all about standard deviations and, and moving away from the mean. And if you don't think that these people that are trading these algorithmic things don't use these numbers, you're being very, very naive. This is the last five days into October the first, as you can see here, there was the big ABCD down. You see the 382 retracement there, 4392. What did we do? We dropped 140 handles, stopping exactly, I mean exactly, at the 1.618 expansion at 42. Uh, 61, 4263, that was the exact low. And of course now we have gone up to uh, 4589 uh, or 4590 on the upside. Okay, so that's it. So let's take a little be take a look here. Now I wanted to bring this to your attention because you are able to do this if you'll practice it and learn to do it a little by little. But believe me, folks, it's it's not the simplest thing in the world. And when it does, and sometimes they don't work. When they don't work, you just stand aside. I mean, it's just basically, uh, you know, basically looking at it. If you bought that gold just a little while ago, you put your stop at 1786 and a letter rip. Okay, now let's take a quick look. We're going to just go back and look at this E-mini S&P one more time. And I want to get it up here so you'll be able to see it. And uh, we'll see where we'll have Tim Bost on and we'll be able to look at him. But you can see here we've made new highs now. If you, if you really want to study markets, go back and look what happened in October of 2007. When it was the high day, I believe it was October the 7th. On October the 6th, Bryn Bernanke, and you can Google it and see it, he saw nothing but green lights for the stock market because everything looked really great. He said this on the day before the high in the stock market. And if you Google it, you'll find it. It's absolutely there. Now, if I start saying stuff like that, I mean, you start Googling me, I, I make so many mistakes, but I, I try to rectify them as I go along. But just because somebody says something doesn't mean, including me, I'm just looking at patterns. That's all I'm looking at. But here was one I was watching today, early this morning, from, from the time it was trading at 45.66. I want to get this up here and show you what we were watching. Now, this is just nothing more than a pattern. And it said, we were going to get up to 45.88. Well, the high has been 45.90. We backed off a little bit from that level, but that is a three drive to a top pattern. You can see the double ABCD structure, everything there. That's nothing more than Mandelbrot's fractal analysis. AB equals CD. When John was doing the book with, when John Jameson was doing the book with me, one of the things he wanted to do was to put a, a thing in there that's saying this basically repudiates, you know, the Elliott wave. And I don't think you can do that because you know that's a totally different way of the way they count waves and stuff like that so what we do is very very simple folks i hope i hope you can hear that uh, f that f that f16 because they are running maneuvers now and it is very noisy here uh, in the old pueblo 
So we'll take it. I guess they're getting ready for a maneuver someplace else in the world, but probably northern Mexico. All right, let's uh, get back to talking about this because uh, these numbers, when they work, they work great. And when they don't, they don't work great. I just wanted to walk through those to show you that it's all numbers related. And that's the key to what we're doing here as we do this. Now, we're going to have, hopefully, we're going to have Tim Boss, technical things uh, in, in our favor. We're going to have Tim Boss as our guest here in just about uh, a couple of minutes from after we take this break when the music comes up. And we'll pay a few bills and we'll be back with you uh, shortly with our good friend uh, from Financial Cycles Weekly, none other than Tim Bost. We'll be right back, boys and girls. Are you having fun trading the markets but having trouble finding like-minded individuals to discuss your trading and investment ideas with? Become an apex predator in the trading markets and join the Tiger's Den Trading Room only at TFNN.com. The Tiger's Den is an exclusive trading room where successful traders from around the world come to exchange trades and ideas. Join the den and surround yourself with the sharpest minds in the trading world. Subscribers to the Tiger's Den are also the first to have their questions answered live on air and can privately chat with our TFNN hosts live during their shows. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day. Subscribe to the Tiger's Den risk-free with our 30-day money-back guarantee and become part of the TFNN trading community. TFNN, educating investors. You could be making money off the stock market. And if you're already making money off the stock market, you could be making a lot more. Check out TFNN and Tiger TV and get expert investing advice to give you the power to control your financial future. Go to TFNN.com and find the newsletter for you. Whether you're into trading gold, metals, futures, currencies, or options, you'll get advice and analysis to help you seriously get ahead. TFNN also features trading services with a 30-day money-back guarantee for new subscribers, as well as TFNN's Tiger Den Trading Room, trading software, and educational webinars for all trading levels and make sure you check out tiger tv for free on tfnn.com or tfnn's youtube channel for live financial content from 8 30 a.m to 4 p.m eastern on market days stop watching on the sidelines while other people get rich and become the investor you were born to be tfnn educating investors TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Okay, folks, I believe we have Tim Boston in the house. Tim, how are you today? Doing well. Can you hear me? Living the dream, baby, on the green side of the grass. You're coming in perfectly. 
Oh, great. Okay. I was dealing with technical glitches this morning. Uh, my life is filled with technical you know, glitches. That happens occasionally in the, in the bright old world of the internets and all that good stuff. Oh, so, that's, uh, we got lots to of, talk about uh, yeah. today. So how, what's, what's, I know what's you on do, your plate? You go right ahead. Uh, all my frustration comes from technical stuff with the computer. So you're talking about something that is uh, a little bit foreign to me, to say the least, and that is Volcanus. Uh, Volcanus, that, yes, indeed. Yeah, we, that, we have spoken on some occasions before. <clears throat> pardon me about uh, what we call our trans-Neptunian factors. These are Kuiper Belt objects that are way out there in the solar system, out beyond the orbit of Pluto. Uh, and in fact, uh, these were discovered back in the 1990s and have given us a lot to, to puzzle over in the astrological community. What we found is that they have a pretty strong correlation, at least some of them, uh, to market movements, and so. Mm -hmm. What we're paying attention to is uh, this trans-Neptunian factor, Volcanus, which moves very, very slowly through the zodiac, about a degree and a half a year, something like that. Uh, and it's making a retrograde station next Monday on uh, November the 1st. Uh, that'll take place at uh, 2 degrees 55 minutes of Leo. It's uh, been in direct uh, motion since April 15th of this year. So it's a very, very slow cycle that it goes through. Uh, but what we have discovered is that when it ma makes these turns in motion, uh, moving from uh, retrograde into direct motion, or in this case from direct into retrograde motion, uh, then it intensifies the impact, and we can see some action going on in the markets. So what we've done is uh, we're taking a look here at uh, three different markets, the S&P, gold, and Bitcoin, uh, with its re their reactions to these Volcanus uh, stations. And in each case, what we've done is taken all of our trading history, back-tested it with the Volcanus stations to get an average picture of what things look like uh, when we have this phenomenon occurring, as we do uh, uh, coming up on, on next Monday. Uh, so uh, this is a chart for the S&P. Uh, and in all these charts, we've got the important part is that center line with a zero uh, in the middle, that vertical line. Uh, that marks the date of the actual station itself. And we can see that moving into that, uh, we have a congested pattern uh, for the S&P. Of course, a potential here for uh, you know, uh, more uh, up to the upside. But that really accelerates after uh, the Volcano Station in terms of the upside uh, potential here uh, with all of this. So we put a little arrow in there saying, you are here, this is where we are today on uh, Tuesday, the 26th of October, uh, prior to this uh, station that will occur on uh, November 1st. Uh, so we get a picture here of what's going on in terms of the potential for the S&P 500 uh, with a pop positive move uh, coming out of this uh, starting really next week. So this is what we're looking at here. Now, just to keep things in perspective, uh, this scale from that uh, zero point in the middle to the upper right-hand side represents a swing of about 1.2%. Uh, so we're not looking at a 500-point you know, rally or something like that coming out of this, but it is definitely a, a bullish uh, kind of, of uh, indicator that we're, we're seeing with this. So what we've done is a, a little bit of backtesting here and try to optimize a trading potential potential around this. And so looking at these uh, planetary stations, we can pick the time of the station, but that's not always the best time to enter a trade. And we've got a little bit of leeway here because we're talking about this a few days ahead of time. And it looks like that the best uh, trading opportunity that we can find comes up uh, with an entry point tomorrow. Uh, on the 27th of October, or we're looking at a potential long position in the S&P here, uh, 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 or any instrument that you want to trade, uh, whether it's E-minis or what have you, this would, would coincide with all of that. Uh, but uh, uh, so we, we would buy the S&P on uh, uh, Wednesday, October the uh, 27th, and then we'd hold it till a week from Monday uh, on the uh, November the 8th. Uh, and that would be when we would close out the position. Uh, based on our back testing, this trading strategy has a 74.4% probability of giving us a winning trade. And again, uh, we're not looking for gangbusters here in terms of the return, but an expected gain of about uh, three quarters of 1%, a little bit uh, uh, north of that, perhaps. Uh, so we want to be realistic with what we can expect from the trade, uh, but also that probability is what I find personally uh, attractive when we can start talking about uh, you know, th uh, three out of four times being successful, uh, then it's a, a pretty good uh, uh, average to, to look at. Uh, so that's our outlook uh, for the S&P based on the Volcanus uh, station. We get a little different picture 
picture with gold, and gold has been persistently bearish here. We've been uh, short gold uh, since, I think, mid-June, somewhere in there, uh, and uh, we're looking at a continuing decline. But what's interesting uh, with this chart is that this Volcanus station, again, at that zero point in the middle, uh, shows a potential for a bottom in the gold market. Uh, coming out of that, it's uh, you know not extremely uh, bullish, but it does look a, like a period of congestion that might give us some opportunities there as well. Again, the little uh, green arrow points to where we are right now, and it looks like we have a, a few days ahead of us of declining uh, prices uh, in gold. Uh, so on that basis, then, uh, what we're looking at uh, is the opportunity to take uh, two potential trades here uh, with gold. First of all, there's a short position if we want to enter that immediately. And again, all of the uh, standard precautions apply here. Uh, past performance doesn't uh, guarantee future results. Be whoa, especially whoa. cautious with the short side of, of the market. Uh, you mean these are not 100 Tim, yes. you mean to tell our folks that these are not 100% guaranteed? No, they're not. Uh, we're trying Shut to talk the about front the door and raise the we rent. Got here, and this we're still talking about about three, uh, 75, 76 percent for probability. So that's anything over 51 percent is. Book, we're taking the yeah, glance you at bet. Anyway, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> so. If we find a 100% one, we'll let you know, and then we'll, we'll squeeze yeah, it. Well, yeah, I, I know you let me know the day after. I'm, I'm very <laughs> familiar with like how those work. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can really do these charts when I have them, you know, after the fact. Those are much easier to do. That's absolutely right, for sure. Right. So what we're doing with our projections here, and, and we, we are basing these, of course, on the trading history. Uh, so we can say, we can look back here uh, with the history of trading with gold, uh, when this uh, kind of phenomenon happens. And we have these uh, Volcanus uh, retrograde stations about once a year. So uh, they're not terribly frequent, but we do, uh, over time, accumulate a trading record with it. And we can say that 75, uh, almost 76% of the time, we would expect a winning trade. Uh, and this is very, very short term on the short side here. Uh, you know, uh, buying on Wednesday, uh, buying, uh, selling on Wednesday rather, and then uh, uh, buying to cover on uh, Friday. Uh, this uh, coming up here on on uh, Friday of this week, so it's a a two day p position that has a, a potential for uh, bringing in about a two percent return. Uh, so that's kind of attractive uh, there if you're comfortable with trading on the short side. And of course, uh, again, that's a, a, a personal decision to make based on your own uh, 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 willingness to expose yourself in that way. Uh, so, but then on the back side of this, again, the station comes on the first of November. We're seeing a potential there for a long position in gold if we enter it then and then hold that position until Thursday, November 11th, a little bit longer term trade. Uh, the percentage of uh, probability of a winning trade, a little bit lower there, a little shy of 64%. Uh, Still worth looking at. It's uh, excellent, the, excellent, yes. What got here is a small gain potential. That's very interesting. I'm writing these down because that determines whether you're going to be our guest again, you know. Okay, good. So take these trades. If you have any money left, call. <laughs> hey, we have to pay a few bills, Tim. Will you stay with us? We want to talk I about the bit. I certainly will. We'll come the back to Bitcoin. Talk about Bitcoin. Okay. We'll be right back, folks. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up and coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. The technology around us is changing every day. With so much happening, it can seem impossible to keep up with all the information. 
David White's investment newsletter, The Technology Insider, is designed to give you all the information you need to understand the technology that shapes today's markets and tomorrow's future. David White has made his living staying on the cutting edge of technology. His weekly newsletter will give you specific recommendations for value tech stocks, as well as entry prices, target prices, and stops to set for each trade. Dave delivers his weekly newsletters every Friday with updates throughout the week. You can get the Technology Insider at TFNN.com for only $37.50. Sign up for David's newsletter, The Technology Insider, and get an inside look at everything the technology sector has to offer. Try it risk-free today with our 30-day money-back guarantee. TFNN, educating investors. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Okay, we're back, folks, and we're talking with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Uh, Tim, I just have a, a question on a personal note. Have you heard from Arch Crawford recently? Uh, no, I've not. It's been several months yeah. since I spoke with him. I know he's retired and he's moved out of the area. His phone numbers don't work anymore. He didn't contact oh, really? me, and I've tried to email him, and that came back. So I'll track him down through a if couple you of. If you do, I, please uh, let me know because yeah. you know uh, we, I will. We, we I talk will. fairly yeah. infrequently, once or twice a year, something like that. We yeah. do stay in touch, and so that's uh, sure. Uh, no, I, I haven't spoken with him. Okay, let's talk Would about you? the bit. Let's talk about it the bit a bit, shall we? You <laughs> so, bet. Uh, we, we were, before the break here, we were talking about the Volcanus uh, retrograde station, the trans-Neptunian factor uh, that's going retrograde next Monday on November the 1st. Uh, and uh, with our back-testing chart uh, for the S&P and for gold, we identified uh, trading opportunities around this particular configuration. Uh, same thing applies to Bitcoin here, although it's a little uh, different uh, proposal uh, because with Bitcoin, we have a much shorter shorter trading history to look at and I want to underscore that here as we talk about our speculation with Bitcoin uh, it is a wild and crazy market uh, that's for sure uh, but also <laughs> when we do our testing and and uh, uh, make our projections uh, we are dealing with fewer previous examples to test with and so that means these uh, numbers are a little bit suspect uh, but then so is Bitcoin so it, I think we're in good company there at any rate our chart here shows the zero point that is in the middle of the chart uh, that is the date of the Volcano station coming up on November 1st the little green arrow on the left is important to pay attention to this is where we are uh, with our price projections with Bitcoin uh, as of today. And if you'll notice here between that arrow on the left and the zero point in the middle, it is basically flat. We are looking for congestion in the Bitcoin market over the next few days. Now, congestion uh, in the Bitcoin market uh, may mean only a $1,000 a day uh, price range. <laughs> <something like that. laughs> it doesn't look like other markets, you know, so, but, uh, but uh, essentially in terms of the long term term picture this is what we're anticipating uh, so I was having a conversation with a Bitcoin trader uh, you know, yesterday in fact and he was saying uh, you know, wh when are we going to see a crash and I said of course this is what this thing does we have crashes and insane rallies parabolic moves uh, and it's a completely uh, blitzo market here uh, so we, we need to keep that in mind so when we see this congestion coming up we'll take that with a grain of salt and understanding of what we're actually uh, looking at uh, uh, along the way uh, however 
uh, based on this, we do have some uh, trading strategies here. Uh, what we're looking at is we did our back testing, uh, and you were looking for 100%, Larry. Uh, we got 88.9 on, on this one. Oh. So it's about as close as we've been able to come so far. <laughs> but our strategy for Bitcoin is to hold off till Monday, uh, until November 1st. Uh, we get a little of that congestion out of the way, a little bit of the chop, and we're looking for a major uh, move upward coming out of that lasting until uh, Friday, November 12th. With that trading strategy, we are anticipating almost an 89% probability of a successful trade. Uh, that's pretty uh, worth looking at, I think. And what's interesting here is the average expected gain. Uh, with 28.25%, uh, 28 and a quarter percent, uh, which is a pretty darn substantial move for any market. Now, again, the caveat is we're pa basing this on about nine or ten previous examples, so these numbers are easily skewed. Uh, so uh, my inclination here would be to take the trade, uh, but don't uh, g get uh, uh, gun-shy if you don't see that, that percentage of return, uh, because this thing can swing uh, radically in, in all directions. Uh, so with Bitcoin, we are continuing our research here. Uh, we, of course, published our book a couple of years ago. Uh, this is an anthology of articles on Bitcoin by financial astrologers, including our good friend uh, Bill Meridian and Christine Skinner from the UK. Uh, Consola Moreira uh, is in Barcelona and, and a great technical analyst who contributed to this book as, as well. So uh, that's available if you're interested in looking at some of the astrological dynamics connected with this uh, particular market. And it continues uh, to evolve. Uh, so what we're seeing going on right now is a huge rally. We just hit a new all-time uh, high last week uh, and so, uh, there are several things that are going on uh, one of the things is that we have at last seen some uh, 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 new uh, ETFs exchange traded funds uh, based on Bitcoin futures uh, that have uh, launched in the US uh, there was one on the New York Stock Exchange uh, two of last week and then on Friday there was a new one on the NASDAQ. We're going to see some more coming along uh, following suit there as well. What this has done is established a greater awareness of Bitcoin. Uh, we personally don't recommend uh, trading these uh, ETFs at, at, at present at least. I'd like to see them settle down a little bit and remember that they're dealing with futures rather than uh, actual Bitcoin. You're not actually owning any Bitcoin if you trade those uh, contracts. But if you're into derivatives and want to start taking a look in that uh, that area, it may be worth uh, looking at. Uh, the, the very news that we had an all-time new record high uh, itself, uh, it's kind of a, a self-fulfilling prophecy there. It, it drove the prices upward as well. There's a lot more interest and, and uh, uh, other people began to jump uh, Kim, in uh, to Kim, the market. Uh, that was an accelerating factor as well. We have a question for one of our listeners. Mr. Z is asking, uh, which instrument do you like to trade? Do you trade the the new ETF or do you trade the Bitcoin uh, itself or one of the other alternatives or a whole uh, bunch yeah, of others? I, I'm, I'm personally uh, taking positions in Bitcoin itself. Uh, and okay. I'm, I'm accumulating rather than actively trading at this point. Uh, as we look at some of these ETFs, I think we're going to see uh, the kinds of fluctuations that will be much more tradable. Uh, especially mm -hmm. for for uh, you know retail level and, and investors to take a look at, uh, but again, I, okay. I would be a little cautious about jumping in this soon with those ETFs to see mm -hmm. how well they actually track the market. Uh, so, uh, well, a, a, do you a, have, a word uh, of caution there to start with? Okay, now we have a question from one of our another question from one of our listeners from New York, and that is, do you see a, uh, a Bitcoin hitting above a hundred thousand before the end of the year? Uh, I think that's increasingly a likelihood. I'm not sure that we'll hit 100,000. Psychologically, that's a big barrier, of course, a, a big uh, uh, thing. I, I, be, I believe we will hit that point. But mm -hmm. before the end of the year is the question I have at, at this juncture. Uh, I think we'll see a move up in, into the, the mid-70s, uh, at least uh, fairly promptly here. And so once we hit these various levels uh, of uh, you know, and, and a breakthrough resistance at these different zones, then that becomes more and more a, a a possibility uh, for mm -hmm. us. Uh, so we've had other things going on. In fact, uh, uh, it was uh, CNBC, I believe, that m m uh, m uh, mentioned yesterday they had uh, a, a confirmation of uh, a pending announcement from MasterCard uh, saying they're going to encourage merchants to accept Bitcoin and help facilitate that uh, in uh, MasterCard transactions, uh, which is, gives it a big boost as, as wow. well there. Uh, and, of course, MasterCard has figured out a way to make money on that. The thing about Bitcoin transactions is they cost practically nothing. 
thing. Uh, so if you mm -hmm. if you run them through your Mastercard and then you can uh, pay Mastercard for the, that privilege, uh, everybody ends up happy, at least theoretically. But we also have the astrological alignments we've been looking at here along the way with our uh, trading chart here for, uh, for Bitcoin. Uh, you know what we're seeing is a uh, that a, a big surge upward. This chart is, just goes back to the first of August, I think, uh, July 30th uh, through yesterday, with mm -hmm. daily price bars with Bitcoin. So you get a sense of how, where we've moved here. Uh, mm -hmm. And the critical point here is that we are uh, looking at support and resistance in uh, that over 60,000 range. Hey, let's stay with us, Tim. We want to chat with you about an upcoming webinar. We'll be right back with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Are you looking for a secured investment which pays you on a monthly basis? The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be the program for you. The best rate on a five-year CD in the country right now, according to bankrate.com, is paying 1% per year or $1,000 per $100,000 invested. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly, on secured, high-value, buildable properties in St. Petersburg, Florida. The investment is for four years, paying 7% per year, or $7,000 per $100,000 invested. Your investment is secured by high-value real estate in St. Petersburg, Florida. Your investment can be anywhere from $100,000 to $500,000. You want to make $1,000 per year on $100,000 invested, or $7,000 per year on a secured Tiger First Mortgage. The Tiger First Mortgage Program may be just the program for you. The Tiger First Mortgage Program pays 7% per year, paid monthly. For more information, you can call 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. Okay, we're back, folks, and we are chatting with Tim Boss, Financial Cycles Weekly. Uh, Tim, I believe we have a webinar coming up uh, that folks might like to listen to. We've got regular webinars here, and... Uh, uh, we'll be discussing Bitcoin and uh, some of the trans-Neptunian factors and, and other things that are happening uh, with the markets. Our next uh, webinar is coming up at the end of this week. Uh, if you'd like to connect with that, uh, go ahead uh, and uh, uh, go to bit.ly slash Tim Larry P. Uh, that's all lowercase except for the name initials, capital T, capital L, capital P. Uh, and that is uh, case sensitive, so make sure you get those three letters capitalized. And that'll take you to a little sign up page where you'll get uh, connected with all of our information on upcoming webinars and uh, special events. And we often have uh, uh, special discounts and things like that on our offers for uh, viewers of this program.
program, so definitely get connected there, uh, and uh, we can keep in touch uh, that way. Uh, also, uh, when you uh, uh, do connect, uh, be sure to uh, connect via email and uh, let me know about your questions and concerns. Mm -hmm. uh, we are always uh, privileged to share time with you on Larry's show here and appreciate all the questions that come in. And uh, my, my personal email is tim at timboss.com, uh, so feel free to reach out that way as well. And always uh, curious to find out what you're up to, what your questions and concerns are, and how we can help from this end uh, in uh, tuning you into the Astro Trading Advantage. We deal not only with Bitcoin, but with equities markets as well. And so uh, lots, to, lots to learn, lots to play with, lots of fun to be shared here. Well, that's really great. Listen, we're going to have you on and again in a couple of weeks if you have the time because the things you've shown us have been just absolutely amazing how well they've worked and we appreciate all the work and the things you've given us. So stay with us, be safe, and we'll see you in a few weeks. How does that sound? We'll do that and do our best to stay amazing here. You do the same, my friend. <laughs> and if you, <laughs> yeah, and if you hear from, if you hear from Arch, please let me know if you hear from Arch, well, okay? Yes, and I'm, I'm going to reach out to uh, 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 Mr. Sarubi as well, see if he's been in touch. So I've, um, I've done that too. So let me know if you hear anything. Okay, we'll keep the circle together here if we can. Appreciate it. You got it. Keep those campfires burning. We'll see you on the flip side tomorrow, folks. 